beauties, it's your girl Nikki and I'm back with another video, you guys. And today I am finally going to do a girls talk video. I think this video is much longer overdue because it's always in my DMs or I'm always getting questions about this certain topic. And I know I feel like I speak on the same stuff over and over and over again. Like, but I, like I said, y'all, my audience is young women, young girls. I have honestly... So I get thousands, I get hundreds of DMs about people telling me their stories and people me ask, asking me the same questions. And um, I love being the light that I love being like the light or um, I love that, that women come to me and ask me personal questions and invent to me and uh look to me for answers on certain stuff like i know i'm very young but i love i love that i can be i love that i could be an influencer a positive influencer uh like a young woman i like a young woman that's an influencer and that i can be able to answer questions and and tell y'all stuff off personal experience and been, been going through it and tell y'all how I pulled myself through it. I just love being open about the same stuff. And I feel like today, a lot of stuff has been in the media and um, I'm just getting, I've been getting questions on the, the same stuff. So I just wanted to just overall have a conversation, girls talk it out, get to the nitty gritty of why it is important and um just tell y'all the full nine yards and give y'all some of my pointers uh a lot of people might not believe or um believe in my methods of of how to move past stuff from your past or how to um grow from a lot of stuff but i am here to just do a whole freaking um a whole a whole combo a whole girls talk because i know i know i know i said i was gonna be doing the everything girls series and i still want to do that but i just haven't got into that anyways but i'm today we're going to be doing a girls talk video on basically how do you get over an ex and how do you beat bitterness so um we're just gonna get straight into it and i'm just gonna tell you from personal experience and i just know like literally y'all i get messages and messages and messages of young girls looking to me to be like oh how did you get over this and how and i don't mean to bring up my past but my past is me and i don't mean to talk about just my relationship or my old relationships but at the end of the day this is this is me you know what i mean and and I, and I just like to have, cause I feel like a lot of women need to hear this. You know what I mean? A lot of young girls or young women just need to hear certain things that's really just not getting through to them. So today we're going to let y'all know, period, poo, we getting out of our professional talk or whatever, bitch, and we getting straight into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna be like, we gonna have a little girls talk on how do you get over your ex? How do you get over your man? How do you get over your ex, your crush, the guy you like? How do you get over your baby daddy? How do you get over your baby mama? For the niggas out there who want to know how to get over an anybody, how do you get over an old friendship? How do you get over an old relationship that's no longer there? How do you get over a pain? How do you get over stuff that happened to you in the past? How do you move forward? How do you see the positive positivity and and the new light in your new life and your new situations and how do you deal with stuff that God has put in your life how do you deal with stuff that's been put in your life for a reason and how do you know and how do you realize when stuff is put in your life for a reason or certain stuff happens to you for a reason and what's the bigger outcome and you know, I just want to get into the whole nine yards. Um, it's pretty late and I want to upload this video today. So I want to really get straight into it. But um, my first, I made a whole list, you guys, because I feel like I don't really want to miss. I don't know if y'all can see, but I really don't want to miss anything in this. Uh, and I'm using natural lighting, so that's another reason why I kind of want to hurry up because I don't want the sun to go down or whatever. But uh, I just have a list. Okay, so my first category is how do you get over in this? You guys, the first thing I wrote down was stop making excuses for them. 
Stop making excuses, oh, they did this because of this, or they did this. When you start making excuses for their actions, you start to see reasons why they possibly could have did that, and you, you are telling yourself they did this for this reason, when really, they did it because they wanted to do it. You know what I mean? They did it because that was something they wanted to do or they did it because sometimes they just didn't care about your feelings or they didn't you kind of stop making ex ex like excuses for an ex you know what i mean if you want to get over that nigga girl you have to fucking you have to stand on that you have to rememberize all the stuff that they didn't did to you and understand why you left or why y'all are no longer in the situation that y'all in you have to remember the toxic stuff i know a lot of times when you miss somebody you start to memorize all the good shit that happened which the great stuff the good shit that happened in a relationship is perfect those are memories you hold on to but you know you that is stuff that was good for the moment but you have to understand that that person will never be that same person forever you know what i mean stop trying to see stop, stop trying to make excuses for um Stop trying to hold on so much onto the good stuff and see how you're being treated now. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people hold on to the good stuff. When they first break up with somebody, they just want to hold on to the stuff, the good times and, and this and that. But you gotta stop holding on to that, to that, those, those good that that image you painted them of them in the beginning. You gotta figure out what was it that made y'all break up and why you're no longer in that situation. Um, the second thing I would probably say is to delete pictures, delete memories. I know a lot of times it pops up on your last scene. Like, in order to get over somebody and it, and be strong enough to not go to back to that person, you have to be able to detach yourself from that person. You don't want to go around sitting around looking at pictures and old memories and remembering shit that y'all used to do back in the day or this, that, and there. Y'all, you have to... Take away, like, you delete the pictures, delete them messages, delete the motherfucking videos. Sometimes they help for people to just delete old memories, you know what I mean? Like, some people are the type of people, you, out of sight, it's out of mind. If you're not seeing it, you're not feeling it, you're not, it's out of your mind. So, delete them pictures of you and that man, baby. Delete them pictures, them, them text messages you read over and over when you get sad and stuff. When he was telling you how beautiful you was and all that sweet shit, delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. I'm telling you now, delete it. Because it'll it'll keep you holding on to something that you once had in the past that is no longer there. Whether it's the way he act in the past or the way she act in the past, that they're not acting like that. So I hope I'm making sense and I hope I'm not rambling. You know what I mean? But okay. So my third thing is uh acceptance, you guys. A lot of people uh, don't accept the fact that it's over or they like to hold on. Like I said, you have to accept what the situation is now and move from that situation. You know what I mean? You have to accept that, um, what am I trying to see? Don't hold on to your past. When you keep the door open, you can never fully move on. I don't all these little notes, but like I said, you have to accept the fact that it is over. You know what I mean? And I feel like, like I said on these messages, I wrote it down. But um, when you when you keep a door open and you, you feel like it's a possible reason that this person can come back or this could be a relationship, you can never fully move on. You can never heal when you're holding on to something in the past. You know what I mean? Like if you keep holding on and say maybe he'll come back or maybe we'll be together or maybe this or maybe that or maybe this, you can never fully hold on. You can, I mean, you can never fully move on and you can never fully heal. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's very important to... Close the door, accept the fact that you guys are no longer together, and move on and heal for yourself. It is very important that you accept and you heal for yourself because my fourth thing is you have to start to focus on yourself. You know what I mean? Spend more time on doing stuff that you wasn't able to do when you was in a relationship or focusing on things that you wasn't able to focus on or in I mean, focus on while you were in a relationship. So, if you was doing everything for that man or you was going out your way, spending all your time talking to him and spending all your time catering to him and spending your, all your time uh, and your energy putting into the relationship, 
put that take that energy that you was once doing that stuff with in that relationship and do it with yourself focus on yourself love yourself do your business your career make you some money you got kids take care of your kids you know what i mean put re take that energy that you was once had in that relationship and put it on yourself and you'll start to love yourself more you'll start to understand you would you would start not to miss start certain stuff certain stuff you start not to miss once you have a self-love for yourself and you have a zero tolerance for bullshit certain stuff that you deal with or you dealt with in the past are you accepted in the past are you allowed in the past will no longer make you miss that person because it's like damn i have so much self-love for myself now that i would never let nobody treat me like that like you know what i mean i would never even associate myself with somebody who would treat me this way or who i did something like this to me so once you learn that and you focus on yourself you know what i mean then you get you you want to not miss that person you start not to miss that person because you have so so much love for yourself and you're focusing on yourself when you focus on so much on yourself it's hard to focus on anything else you know what i mean the fifth thing i think this is the fifth thing you guys people have to accept that there is chapters in your life people are in your life for some people are in your life for seasons some people are in your life for reasons not everybody is going to be, be in your life forever you guys some relationships are meant for lessons some relationships you block are for blessings. You know what I mean? So, you just have to remember that everybody is in your life for a reason and a season. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. Don't go, and I can't wait to speak on stuff not working out because a lot of times people, I, I'll get into that later, but um, if it didn't work out, it did not work out. You have to accept the fact that it just didn't work out. The third art, I don't know what number I'm on, y'all, but some relationships are are like a some relationships you want you miss because you miss that man because you don't want to be lonely. You don't want to be by yourself or you don't want to um you don't want to be by yourself. You miss doing relationship shit. You remember you miss having somebody to always talk to, always have text. You have to get comfortable with being by yourself you have to get comfortable with not being able to talk to somebody or call somebody or check somebody or be toxic or be in love or be freaky you gotta be you gotta be comfortable within yourself you gotta be comfortable with being by yourself if you're never fully comfortable with being by yourself you'll never fully be prepared to be in a relationship in a healthy relationship you know what i mean because a lot of people or a lot of men and women they get into a relationship or they miss their old toxic relationship or they keep continuing to deal with a toxic relationship because they were never comfortable with being by themselves they were never comfortable and i can honestly say that was probably one of the things i i accept a lot of stuff when i was dating because i was never really comfortable with being by myself like i wanted i wanted a relationship i'm a lover girl and i understand that we are lover girls, we love boys, we want to be in a relationship, we want to be booed up, we want to have somebody to chat with, we want somebody to check on us and care about us. But a lot of times we have to be comfortable within ourselves and be comfortable with being lonely because a lot of times people are in relationships or in toxic situations or stay in toxic situations because they're not comfortable with being lonely. You know what I mean? So, uh, the I don't even know what this is. My next thing is, you guys, you have to accept the fact that you don't own anybody. You know what I mean? A lot of people, a lot of times, you get into relationships and you be like, this is mine, mine, mine. This is my human being. This is my person. Which, yeah, that is your person. But at the same time, you don't own that person. You have to let that person grow on their own. If that person is unhappy in a situation, that person deserves to do what makes them happy. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that they deserve to go out and cheat on you or they deserve to, um, because that's not right. Because you're supposed to let somebody know about stuff like that. But they deserve to choose their own happiness over your happiness. Every part, nobody owns anybody. So everybody, I feel like people are allowed and, and they they're allowed to choose their happiness, happiness over anybody else's happiness. So if a person tells you they're not happy or they inform you that they're not happy, uh, it's you can't really hold on to stuff like that. You have to let that person be that person because you don't own them. And, and you will want to do what's best for you. So I feel like a lot of times you have to let that person do what's best for them. 
or what they feel is best for them. So you have to, a lot of times getting over an ex is realizing this person didn't belong to me. He's his own person and I'm my own person. He, and a lot of times or if a guy breaks up with you or he, he doesn't show interest in a relationship anymore, you be, it, it hurts you, you know what I mean? And, and that's normal for it to hurt you. But uh, a lot of times I had to sit back and I had to understand I don't own this person, you know what I mean? He has a right to be happy. He has a right to be with who he wants to be with. He has a right to live his life exactly how he wants to live his life. And I have a right to live mine exactly how I want to live mine. So it's okay to miss somebody and want the relationship back but this is you have to it's it's you it's a certain you know what i mean i, I feel like i'm not really getting to what i want to say but if y'all carry what i'm saying let me know but yeah one of the things i had to realize is that i don't own anybody and uh i can't uh, everybody is allowed to do and feel and be happy i feel like you know what I mean? So, baby, if you got to let that man go, let that man go. If you got to let, you know what I mean? Okay, so, let's see. Hmm. Focus on, another thing, guys, is you have to focus on why you left and why the situation didn't work out. I know a lot of times you will miss a person. Okay, say for instance, y'all get into an argument, y'all break up. The relationship was always toxic. Y'all had these little bit of good moments, but it was mostly toxic. You got to focus on the reasons. In order to get over somebody, you have to think about not only the good stuff that y'all had. Try not to think about the good shit because that makes you miss that person and go back to that person. You got to think about the reasons why you live and why the situation didn't work out. And you have to focus on those reasons and use that energy to and why you weren't happy and you have to focus on shit like that and you have to use that to be like okay well this is why i'm not going back because this that and third yeah he might have been like i said making excuses yeah he did this this that and third or yeah like i said holding on to shit yeah he did this this and this when we first got together but this that this that you gotta memorize all the shit that he did or all the shit that was done to why the situation did not work out you have to learn yourself you have to love yourself and you have to focus on yourself like it is so important to distract yourself when missing somebody and trying to avoid going back to a um ex you have to focus on all the reasons why um why it didn't work out you know what i mean and invest that energy in that hurt that you once had like you know what i mean like okay say for instance you in a toxic relationship and y'all break up and you once spent all your time arguing with this man and you want to spend all your time crying or being ha or happy or calling him when you was at home say for instance baby i'm in a relationship and i spent all my time like i couldn't focus on anything else i couldn't focus on work i couldn't focus on my business i couldn't focus on self-love i couldn't focus on nothing because all i was doing while i was in a relationship was sitting at home while my man was at home wondering where he was wondering what he was doing wondering who he was communicating with wondering where he was at calling him all the time you take that that energy that you had and with you when you was doing all that shit and put it into something productive for you yourself your kids for you know for something that's positive something that's gonna better you stack your money and be about your business be about you be about your kid and I feel like that is the that is your key to getting over a relationship a lot of times my next category y'all and this is very important a lot of people ask me questions on how I'm so at peace how I'm, I'm so at peace and I'm and I'm not bitter about a lot of stuff and how I don't feel or express that I feel certain ways about certain stuff and how my heart and my and my mind don't let me think negative about certain stuff and I, I, I just I wish that a lot of young women could think like I wish sometimes I can give them everything that's in my brain I, I wish sometimes I can feel because sometimes being bitter I'm, and I'm, we're going to talk about beating bitterness sometimes it's a it's a problem it's kind of like a um it's so hard to be being bitter like especially when something bad happened to you 
or when it wasn't your fault that something happened. Hold I lost, I lost my fucking train of thought. Um, I wish. Okay, y'all. I lost my train of thought because my mom called me, and I, I don't even remember what I was talking. Well, I don't remember what I was talking about, but I don't remember what point I was trying to make in my last point. But um, we can. I just want to tell, like, like I wish I could give people young. I know it's so hard to to not be bitter. A lot of times when stuff ha bad stuff happens to you, and you sit around, and you dwell on certain stuff that happened to you and you sit around and you dwell on your past or what somebody did to you or so how somebody treated you and it could cause you to be so bitter and y'all when i tell y'all i watched this thing where uh, um i was watching this uh video and he was like bitterness can poison your attitude it can it can make make you snap on anybody like it could just pour it can it can ruin your relationships your future relationships it can ruin your life it can ruin what you're destined to be or destined to do like being bitter y'all and a lot of people ask me like why aren't you like how how do you be bitterness or how do you how are you not so bitter or how do you how do you feel you 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 stay so unbothered i look at everything i, I don't dwell on a lot of stuff I don't, I don't, I feel like I have my moments where I be like, damn, that was some crazy shit that happened to me. But I don't sit around and dwell on, on what I deserve or I don't dwell on what happened to me. I, I try to spend most of my time focusing on what I can do to better myself today. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. I feel like I was trying to see what I wanted to say. But yes, you guys, a, a way to just not be bit, bitter and I, 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 felt, I found this quote and it says you can't stop life from happening to you but you can choose how you respond to it and a lot of times you have to when stuff happened to you or you feel something was wrong you can't you can't stop life from happening to you but you can stop how you respond to it you can change from here on out I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that don't dwell sitting around dwelling on what could have what anything could have been you just really honestly focus and tr I feel like it has a lot to do with trusting God. You know what I mean? Trusting that everything happened for a reason. Like I feel like that was so one of the reasons that you have to trust you have to you have to realize that God sees what you're going through. God sees how much, you know, how much pain you were in. God sees that what happened to you but he also sees what's in the future and he also sees what he has in store for you. And you have to, sometimes you can destroy what God's plan is for you if you continue to dwell on what happened to you or be bitter or be upset or give hell to everyone or everyone around you because you're upset about a certain situation. You know what I mean? I feel like oh, one of the main reasons and I feel like the key to beating bitterness is trusting in God and praying and trusting that everything on your end will work out in the end and everything happened for a reason and uh some things were a lesson and you just be better for it like you know you know i feel like i i wish i could just have all the words to say what i have in my head but y'all know like bitch i'm like fiddling and skittling like all around but yeah, I hope that I can help somebody. I hope that I can, uh, my video or my advice can um, touch people and, and women. And uh, and I hope that, you know, this helped somebody. Or I hope this video could kind of give you a different outlook on changing the way you react to stuff. And changing the way you feel and, and just focusing on being better and being a better woman or being a better young lady or being a better sister or brother or I don't even know being a better person in general to be the people around you and healing it is very important to heal and sometimes somebody everybody's healing process is not easy but my message to a lot of women that are going through breakups or a lot of women that feel some some people can honestly be 
honest within their selves and admit that they are sometimes bitter or they are sometimes upset at the world I hope that um you know you guys gain guidance and gain answers and you heal everybody's not gonna heal the same you're not gonna heal tomorrow you might not heal in a year you might not heal in three years but I hope this lets everybody know that the hurt, the pain will pass over and you will be fine in the end and everything will work out in your favor. Just, uh, you know, trust in God and pray and be a boss and focus on and try to refocus your focus on anything but an ex or an old person that was in your life. And yeah, I hope this video could be very, um, I know I was kind of like all over the place with this video, but I hope this video can be, um, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying, but I hope this video could help some people in situations or help people that sad or having trouble moving on from an ex or anything like that. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.